a monster movie in more ways than one, Jason Statham's The Meg has now swam past Solo, a Star Wars story at the global box office. Currently standing at $412.8 million in takings, The Meg's success is undeniably down to its overseas fans, with around 75% of its total haul coming from outside the U.S. It's done especially well in China, where it's passed $140 million. Meanwhile, Solo amassed just $392.6 million worldwide throughout its whole release period. Advertisement, continue writing Beloved Solo was a great film, just take a look at Digital Spy's four-star review, but its release has been deemed a financial failure. This is a Star Wars film after all and director Ron Howard was quick to address the backlash through his Twitter account, writing, I'm proud of. Crew worked hard to give fans a fun new addition, as a director I feel badly when people who I believe don't see it on a big screen with great sound. Meanwhile, Disney distribution chief Dave Hollis acknowledged the Alden Ehrenreich movie's disappointing box office performance, noting, we are all over it, and we'll spend a lot of time digging into why things happened the way they did. We have a year and a half before episode 9 comes out, we've had so much success. The previous three Star Wars films did $4 billion worth of business at the box office, so it doesn't feel like saturation is necessarily an issue, but we are still answering all of the questions. Following this worldwide reaction to the Meg, maybe it's time the film's producers started talking seriously about that sequel. Want up to the minute entertainment news and features? Just hit like on our Digital Spy Facebook page and follow on our at Digital Spy Instagram and Twitter account.